What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about kind of most of the subjects I already talk about. This one's going to be real simple. It's, it's a long title, but I think it's going to make sense after I talk about it. It says, God blesses you in such a way that people that know, trust, respect, you may not like you, but know you're a master of your craft. So let me repeat that one more time. God blesses you in such a way that people that know, trust, respect, you may not like you, but know that you are a master of your craft. And that right there uh, gets to the point where you can have all tattoos up and you might have a big beard and you might, you know, if you keep, you know, you wear uh, clean clothes, a uh, uniform, uh, you present yourself the best you can every single time you're out there and you have a good reputation and you're, uh, you can be a family man, you can ride the Harley, you can look like a biker that like you know in the movies all oh, the the tough rowdy biker personality you can be that person but when you come to work you're, you're a master of your craft you have discipline you have your back straight your chest out your shoulders back i mean you're you're looking like you know what you're doing you make the decision you you follow through you have plenty of follow through you got uh, schedule you follow through you know you're very consistent if something comes up you let the people know you reschedule, you work something out, you reschedule, but when you reschedule, you go and you get it done and the customer gives you a five-star rating. Um, I think it's so important to not judge people based on how they look, but give them the opportunity to make a living. It's so important. We judge people based upon their look a lot of the time. And many people, if not everybody, is guilty of it. And when we judge the book by its cover and not really open it up and see what's inside, we may never know who is a master of their craft. Because people that really are disciplined and really enjoy doing what they do, or let's say they're they don't enjoy what they do but they're in a situation where they become they have become master of the craft they're in based on situation based on their situation based on circumstance um, maybe they've so to speak fallen through the cracks and you know started out in law school or medical school and realized you know what they love woodworking and they're great at it and they go out and make the money and they go out and um, perform to a certain level where they get a reputation for doing a great, great, um, you know, making everything uh, desirable where people will pay top dollar. Maybe it's a chair, you know, and they make a table and, and they, they go out there and they can sell it, you know. Um, maybe they uh, turn it into a larger business eventually down the road. I think it's uh, kind of important to talk about because a lot of times we totally forget. We totally overstep. You know, yeah, the, that person may have come from the other side of the railroad tracks. Maybe they lived in a trailer park when they started their lawn business or whatever business they're in or their professional service that they're in. But they, they step into uh, a new thread of clothes. They're able to go out and buy nice stuff. And they uh, go from rags to riches, so to speak. And, you know, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight because you still have to pay your taxes. You still have to pay uh, government fees. Uh, go through the red tape to go to the next level in your business because no one else is going to pay those bills for you as a business owner you're going to be doing it as a professional services person you're going to be going 
to get in the C and E to keep your license, uh, to keep your insurance license, to keep your uh, teacher's license, to keep your, um, I think, a preacher. I don't know if it's called a preacher's license, but anyhow, to keep your doctor's license, you know, the exam board and all that. To, uh, there's so much that we have to look to um, to keep your law license. Throw that out there, if I haven't already said it. I think it's so important. Uh, we're out here, day in, day out, looking to be more than where we were yesterday. And uh, I say it once, i would say it again. Um, whatever self-help book you've read in the past year or 10 or 20 years, all that stuff has already been um, talked about. They're rehashing it. They're talking about it in a different way. King Solomon in uh, the Bible talks about many of the things in Proverbs, in uh, Psalms, King David, uh, and so on. Um, what what are you going to do today that's going to put you one step closer, one yard closer to your dream, to your business uh, goal, to your um, family vacation? Um, I... I I think it's so important. One more time. God will bless you in a way people might not like you, people might not love you, but they trust and respect you and they know that you're going to come out and perform above and beyond um, what is the minimum. You know, you may have talked about doing this and doing that. But you go the extra yard to set yourself apart from everyone else because you're a master of your craft. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, spread the word. Check us out on Patreon and other social websites. Check us out on LinkedIn, um, Twitter, and so on. And if you find this uh, of any value, please uh, give us a donation of one, five, or ten dollars on our uh, PayPal link down below. And thanks again.